bringing you a La Palma eruption update Monday, September 20th, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. La Palma eruption, the lava flows advance around 700 meters per hour. That's the current numbers we're getting. Thousands flee as the volcano erupts on Spain's La Palma Island. Homes are destroyed, and we have some sad footage here. This is just an example of how thick that lava flow is, about... I would say 14 feet high here, just crushing homes. And it has almost reached the sea. And we're going to give you some of that data. The La Palma lava flow to reach the sea 8 p.m. Uh, La Palma time, which is just about three hours from 10 a.m. here. Uh, it's a seven-hour difference. And so at about three and a half hours, La Palma, the lava flow should reach the ocean. And we do have a video confirmation of how close it is to the sea. If you stick with us, uh, we will show you that in just a moment. La Palma volcano eruption update. Measurements reveal the first data coming out, including the SO2 concentrations. The first estimate amount of sulfur dioxide or SO2 emissions occurring in the plume reached 6,000 to 9,000 tons per day. The flow rate is 0.7 kilometers per hour. And the thermal anomaly, 2828 megawatts, was detected in satellite images has reduced today. So the eruption is quieting down, but still ongoing. And there are some interesting details we want to share with you today. And this is all the court. The data was provided by the Volcanolo Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands, or Volcan. The update at 1.25 p.m., which is just hours ago, it's not likely the eruption will cause a tsunami of any kind. According to Jose Luis Barrera, an expert volcanologist, the eruption of the volcano on La Palma could last from one to several weeks. Based on the amount of lava and the last eruption, this has enough effusive lava to last for just two weeks, not four weeks, which is the average for the last three eruptions, four to six weeks. But this one should last just about two weeks, according to our data. Now, at the moment, there are two fissures, eight eruptive mouths, and the lava continues to descend towards the coast. The two fissures are 200 meters apart, and currently there are eight mouths through which lava emerges, which has affected 100 homes on its way to the coast along the El Paso Ravine. Now, in Volcan team stationed in the area have managed to take thermal images of the lava flows, and they were able to accurately determine they have a temperature of 1,075 degrees. That's 1,967 degree Fahrenheit lava. So that's what's happening here. Tourism is still open for the island, even though a thousand or more have been evacuated, and the eruption could continue for a few weeks based on the amount of lava or magma in place. My bad. Uh, there is enough magma for it to erupt for about 16 days. Now, there is an impressive time lapse that just came out, and we want to share that with you. This is from the beginning of the eruption into the evening yesterday. So we'll leave you links to that if you want to check that out. Pretty fantastic. Moving along here. Here we can see uh, that there have been just very few quakes. One, two, three, four, five, six quakes in the last 12 hours. The seismicity has ended. If this picks back up again, there'll be more magma being uh, injected into that region. But as of now, everything that's in place here will come out and very little activity happening here. These events are simply the evacuation of the magma chamber. And so we're going to keep close eye on the seismicity. If you want to do that yourself, you come over to the Spain map and La Palma is down here. So what you do is you want to center La Palma. Somehow, we don't have the bandwidth to do this, so center La Palma, and you want to zoom in on it if you want to keep tabs. And then what you're going to get in the field to the left is all the earthquakes in what you're looking at here. And we can see that 13, so in the last 10 hours, there's only been six quakes or so, seven quakes to be exact. All in the region of the eruption, these are all dropped down of that magma chamber as the uh, lava comes out. Now, the eruption is still ongoing. As we can see here on the left, this is live stream as well as the destruction of homes. And I want to bring you to this live stream in particular where you can see just how close. This is the sea. This is uh, lava that is now burning some structures. And you could just you could see how close that is to the ocean at 400 meters per hour or whatever they're calculating. That's going to be there in just a few hours. Ocean down here, lava here, burning structures there. So... It's just a matter of time, and we will leave you links to this live stream as well as this live stream that has coverage in Espanol for your uh, Spanish-speaking viewers. Que lo dicho, se, uh, nada más toca, eh, la lava. And you can see her homes that are just live on TV burning. 
And how sad is it to be someone who owns this home watching the live stream as your house gets destroyed? Because these people had very little time to get anything out of there. Um, so our prayers and thoughts and prayers go out to the people at La Palma. The two live streams will be provided. This is an ongoing event. should last for weeks, and we will be reporting on it for you. Hope you got something out of the video. The magma that was in place is all the magma that will come out during this eruption. It will last about two weeks based on the amount of magma intruded, and we'll be watching it closely for any upticks. The likelihood for a tsunami is almost zero.